Hello, Mission Hill. Jeremy here. We're going to practice hot cross buns on the cello. So I'm going to move the camera down so that you can see where my fingers are. But first, maybe let's just make sure that we're holding our cello properly, okay? That we've got it high enough. You can see here that the cello is not resting on my shoulder. I want it to be up a few inches above my shoulder. I want the lowest peg on this side to be about the same level as my ear. Okay, I don't want it to be way up here. That's too high. I don't want it to be way down here. That's too low. So I want it to be right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to, I don't have tapes on my cello. I used to when I first started, but now I know where to put my fingers. But for you, you want to find your highest tape. You put your first finger down on it, on the D string, make sure you've got the right string. And then you put your second and third finger down. Your third finger should go on the next tape. Some of you guys have second finger tapes. If you have a second finger tape, you can put your second finger there. If you only have a third finger tape, just put your second finger in the space, excuse me, in between, okay? So I have that set. Then I'm gonna take my thumb, thumbs down, anchor the bottom of the fingerboard, find the D string. And I think you can see both my hands here. Yeah, it looks like it. So here we, here we go, we're gonna do hot cross buns twice with a little break in between, pizzicato, meaning we pluck. Here we go. I'll call out the finger numbers as we go. One, two, three, four. Three, one, zero. Three, one, zero. Zero, 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 one, 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 three, one, zero. Good. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Three, one, zero. Three, one, zero. Zero, 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 one, 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 three, one, zero. Okay. Good job. Now we're going to take our bow. Okay, so take a second and make sure you're checking your bow hold. So thumb on the bottom, on that silver part. Fingers spread out just a little bit, not like this, but not like this either. Holding with the fingertips, okay? They wrap around, something kind of like this. I'm gonna set the bow on the D string. Oh, you know what? I didn't tighten the hair on my bow. So if you didn't tighten your hair either, now's the time to make sure you tighten the screw. Make sure that the hair is tight. Like I said, about the width of your pinky in the middle between the hair and the stick of the bow. It could be a little bit bigger, but you don't want it to be much bigger. Okay, find my bow hold again. I want to set the bow right in between the fingerboard here and the bridge for my best sound. And I want the bow to go straight across. <laughs> forth like that okay so let's do it twice hot cross buns two more times arco with our bow find the place for each finger again first finger on the first finger tape third finger on the third finger tape second finger in between and here we go one two three four one zero three Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. Three, one, zero. Three, one, zero. Zero, 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 zero. One, 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 one. Three, one, zero. Okay, good job. Repeat this video if you need to practice more. And I would say most of you do need to practice more. The more we practice, the better we're going to get. Okay, so do this video three times in a row, four times in a row, as many times as you need to feel like you're playing this really well. Okay, if you make mistakes, be patient with yourself. We all make mistakes, especially when you're first learning. Uh, it's very natural and it's part of the process. Okay, so keep it up, keep practicing. I'll see you guys at the next class.